Hello and welcome to this Tableau for Sport video. This time we're going to look at merging data. So this does follow the previous video where I looked at scraping some data and putting it into Google Sheets. But this actually applies if you've got any data really in, in different sheets. You'll, you'll learn some techniques um, in this video as well. Okay, so the basic idea here is we've got 20 different sheets and I want to bring them all together so they, they act as like a master file. Again, it's not something I need to do manually, copy and pasting. Please avoid that. Uh, we're going to use Tableau in this case to merge those 20 so all the columns line up and, and everything looks good. Okay, so if you haven't seen the previous video, worth going back. But again, things will apply uh, for you here as well. Okay, so just to give you a quick look, this is what I'd set up. So I have a kind of master sheet that looks at all of the uh, shooting stats and how to construct the URLs. And then each page here is essentially a a team's uh, stats for shooting. And I want to be able to analyze all of these together, so I need to bring them together as 20 different files. Okay, so let's jump into a blank Tableau and fire this up. So this time I'm not connecting to a file here, to a local file, because I actually, I want to keep it in Google Sheets because I want to keep the data refreshing. I want that URL to go and be pinged every so often and get the new data. So down into a server, you should be able to connect to more files. If you're unsure, just click the more and you'll see all the different. So if you use OneDrive or those kind of things, the same kind of principles apply here. Uh, I'm going to choose Google Sheets. It's going to go to a browser and ask me to sign in, which I'm going to do. And now I should be able to go back to Tableau. And I have a list of my I have a list of my sheets. I found the FB reference stats and I'm going to connect to that. Now I will say there's a couple of points in this video where it's going to take two or three minutes for an action to happen. I'm going to pause the video and skip that. You don't need to watch my uh, waiting screen, but just, just do bear with the, the kind of exercise that goes through and I'll show you a few tips and things that you might be able to do to, to clean this up. So once you're connected to the sheet, Tableau on the left hand side should list you out all of the various sheets that are in that workbook. So you can see here I have my 20 teams and I have this sheet one, this kind of master sheet that I made. So let me just start by dragging Arsenal in here. And there's a couple of things we need to be aware of. So first of all, you can see it looks a bit dodgy here. When I preview the data, I've no column headings, couple of null rows, this kind of stuff. Okay, so it doesn't look wonderful um, here. And that's if we go back to just how the data was imported. You know, we can see there's a few there's a few dodgy rows up here and you know there's merged headers and things like that. So Tableau is reading directly what it sees, but we do have this option top left corner, use data interpreter. Use data interpreter. So I'm gonna click that. And again, I'm only on the Arsenal sheet for now. But this is a a feature of Tableau where it goes and it kind of looks at that that the first headers of that sheets and it makes up its own mind essentially as to, to what's going on. Okay, so you can see uh, no, no name on the import column, but time, comp, day, and so on. So it looks like it's done a really good job here. There's a few probably headers we might tidy up, but in the main it's brought in our 34 fields, which, which I'm, I'm really happy with. So the next step is I need to do this for the other 19 teams. And the danger here, and I've done it myself, is you go back to Excel and you try and come up with some sort of formulas to merge all these or you start copying and pasting again. But we can actually do something that's called a union. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the Arsenal box here and convert to union. And hopefully it brings up a little wizard box here. And you could manually drag these in. Okay, so I could add Arsenal and Brighton and so on. And um, that's certainly one way of doing it. Or what you can do is use what's known as a wildcard input. Okay, so a wildcard input will include 
any workbook that's called FB Stats, which in my case is only one. And if I leave this blank, it'll include all of the sheets that are within this, all of the sheets that are within this. Now, I actually don't want one particular sheet, so I'm going to say exclude sheet one. Okay, and then I'm gonna click okay. So Tableau is gonna go off. It's gonna to connect to the 20 individual sheets. It's gonna use this data interpreter to kind of merge the, the tables together. They're gonna to stack one on top of the other, like creating your master file. Uh, and then it's gonna show me all that data here. Okay, now this, depending on your machine and you know how much data you're running and all that kind of stuff, might, might take five minutes. And um, it really does depend on a, on a few different factors. So what I might do here is I might pause the video here and I'll come back when this is done and I'll show you what we need to do next in order to match all the columns. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, now that actually didn't take me too long, but I said it's a little bit dependent on broadband speed and your computer power and all that kind of stuff, but, but do bear with us and then you get uh, the following table. Now, when you start to scroll across, remember we had 34 columns, now we have a bunch more. Okay, so when I start to scroll across here, I can see that there's some some discrepancy has crept in. Okay, so match report is really where where it should end. But I have this Crystal Palace, Man United, Man City, this kind of stuff. And if I scroll down, I see it's actually the game date. So what has happened here is if we can go back to our data, what you'll see is there's a column heading called for Everton against Everton, and it's above the date field. And if I go to the next one, it's for Aston Villa here. So what Tableau is doing when it's unioning files is it's looking for things that have the same name, like comp across the two sheets. And it says they're obviously a match. Let's line them up in the same column. But because these, um, this column, the date column has a different heading, Tableau doesn't know that they're all the same thing. Okay. Uh, and we do want the game dates, but it's very, very easy to fix this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Aston Villa one here. And let's go across and I'm going to uh, actually I'm going to shift and select all of those and click control and select the Aston Villa one. So they're all highlighted now. Sorry for all the scrolling, but they're all highlighted in blue. And from this little drop down, I'm going to say merge mismatched fields. So this is like you manually saying to Tableau, no, actually, these are all the same column. These belong all in the same the same place. OK, so merge match mismatched fields. And again, Tableau will go off and do a little bit of processing on this. And I just, yeah, okay, so it's done that. Nearly. Perfect, okay, so I'm happy now. So a couple of other things to be aware of. Uh, if you don't need a column, so this match report is nothing other than a link to a match report, I can right click and hide it. So again, it just reduces the complexity of the data times. You can get rid of stuff you don't need. The same with this Google Sheets. So these two last columns here are things Tableau brings in. Google Sheets, it's just the source of it. The sheet name is obviously really important. That's the sheet name we gave it in in Google Sheets, and that's actually the team name. So I'm going to make that change here now. Let's go rename this as team. Okay, there's two more changes I want to make to this, and then we're good to go. And we have a completely updating Google Sheets being fed into Tableau with all the necessary mergers of fields done. Okay, so two more steps here. Let's just let this load. The first is you remember there's two rows for every game. And that's obviously going to mess with our stats. So that's why I added this yes, no in here. Yes, no. So what I'm going to do, top right corner, I'm going to add a filter. The column name is F1. 
and I only want to keep the yes, which is the team of the name of the sheet. So if the name of the sheet is Arsenal, these are the Arsenal stats. Okay, so it's going to reduce our data down. We can click OK. I'm going to add one more here as well. I'm going to add the game date. The this one here, which I, I need to rename actually to date, but for now let's do that. I'm going to do individual dates and I'm going to add an exclude filter and a null. Why do I do that? Because some of the totals actually come in and the totals don't have a game date and they'll also again mess with our stats. So this is actually just excluding the totals. Click OK, click OK. Again, we'll just let that process. And then there's one final step I'm going to show you. Perfect. Okay, so at the moment we're connected what's known as live up here in the right corner to that Google Sheet. Okay, now again, we, we do want a connection, we do want that data updated, but if you're finding this a little bit slow or you want to be able to work offline, so not connect to that Google Sheet, what you can do is create an extract of the data. And an extract is like a local copy. And at any point in time we can go back and refresh that extract, so we tell Tableau can you go off and get me the new data? But it does involve a, a, a manual ask basically for the data. So you have to go and tell Tableau, can you, can you refresh? But it's a simple case of hitting a refresh button, but it might speed up your processing within, within Tableau itself, okay? So sometimes a live connection, as I said, you're reliant on the internet, you're reliant on a few other things. So you may want to create this extract. So once you click extract and try and go to a sheet, it will ask you that you want to save it. I'm going to save it. It saves us what's known as a hyperfile. Don't need to get into that today, but just click save. And again, it might take a, a minute or two to process the file, but you now have a much quicker connection to a local file. And at any point in time, just come back to this screen and refresh the extract. You know, you'll be able to refresh the top corner here, the refresh button, and that will bring in whatever new date is in that Google Sheet. Okay. So let's just wait for it to take us to sheet one. And then we have, so again, let me just rename this one to date. Okay, so we should be able to say, show me the teams, show me the dates. We can even do exact date and show me the shots on target. And make it a bar track. Okay. And again, then you'd be into some Tableau. So I might do some Tableau work with this tutorial around this data, but that's a completely automated solution to being able to get those tables merged. You can see we've only got a standard number of columns all within Tableau. Okay, I hope that was useful. Thank you very much.